Greetings and welcome to the Tuesday Morning Vodcast podcast. Shall we gather by the river? That is how a proper gentleman drinks his water. Hey, how are all you Billy Bumblers doing out there this brand new week? Is today June? It is June 1st today, (laughs) and welcome to the month of June. July starts my month. July, August, September, October, November. If you take the first letters of those months, it spells out Jason in the traditional sense. Hey, uh, this is going to be a video of me talking about stuff I'm going to do this week. And maybe doing one of them. I haven't decided yet. Uh, Carol was at Aldi the other day, and uh, she came across these, the churro creams. Now, I don't have anything to uh, compare them to on the Oreo side of things, because these were the mystery Oreos, the the edition two mystery Oreos. Um, and they're, they're nowhere to be found. I could order them online, but I'm not going to because that's silly. So we will be doing a review quite possibly this morning. I did get milk to do this with. Um, I'm trying to decide, and I want you guys' honest, honest opinion. If you care about the channel at all, in the comments below, let me know if you're cool with this setup from now on. I have been busting my ass trying to get my cameras set up, trying to clean a table, trying to plan out this week for painting, which, I mean, that I'm going to have to do over there. But I don't... It's weird. It's very weird. I'm trying to keep the vodcast and the podcast podcast very separated. This is boring, so I'm going to shut the fuck up. Nonetheless, it, this is easier, and it's it's simple, and within seconds I'm recording. With that, it's like an hour of setup, which is fine. I don't mind that. If you guys want that, then I will happily do that for you guys, but I'd prefer to do this as often as I can. And then later on, uh, I don't know if this will be today or tomorrow, this week or next year, you're saying, Jay, you already reviewed these. I, I have my brothers, but I haven't. Well, oops. We can't fault those for being broken when we open it. I have not compared the two. So Benton's did not stand stack up very tall to Oreos in the last challenge. So I'm imagining the quality of Benton's is going to shine through again and or, or, or fail miserably. I should say not shine through. It's not good. Um, but, uh, Last week, or about two weeks ago at this point, my son and I designed a rocket, and here's the launch. Hey, uh, Luke, there's no waiting line over here, man. You and Grayson get filled up. Let's launch, man. Nice. 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 You call out your pumps, Hawkeye. It did it. (laughs) I was very excited because we were very happy to work on it together. And as your children get older, they get interested in things other than you. Um, My son, Grayson, is all about Destiny now. He did Destiny 2. That's all he plays. Destiny 2, Destiny 2, Destiny 2. Uh, Which is fine. I mean, I got hooked on games when I was a kid, too. And even in older, you know, older years when I was playing MMOs and, and getting stuck on those. But I was so happy to work on this with him. And we, um, when we were building the wings, um, the big wings, because we were going to put smaller wings up top, which we opted not to do, we decided to leave these little, um, at the bottom. All right, you know how a box top, if you get birch boxes, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You cut the corners of a box, you cut straight across from both sides, so you end up with two wings. And you'd hear it to the side. Now, initially, what I was going to do was I was going to cut the flap off the bottom so you just have straight wings. But what we did is we left the flap loosey-goosey and just glued them so that they were all loosey-goosey in the same direction. This is science, kids. Stick around. Um, And in our heads, or at least in my head, I was almost certain that the minute it left the launch pad, it was going to start a spinning rotation in the air that it was going to stabilize it and keep it straight. And I didn't know what would happen when it came down, to be completely honest, I didn't give a shit at that point. As long as it looked pretty going up um, and Grayson was happy with the results, then uh, I was happy. 
And so it, it did exactly what we planned it to do. It survived three launches, and on the third launch, it lost two of its wings. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, yeah, but it was kind of neat. Like, science is a funny thing where I don't think about science on a daily basis. However, science does affect us on a daily basis. Um, not that we're making rockets every day, but in this case, like, thinking about... The, you know, the, the beta testing, the, the thought process that goes into science has always intrigued me in that sense. And, I, and I've, it sounds weird, but I forgot about it. I forgot how much, how interesting science is and how to get from point A to point B before you can make any determinations. Like there's a process that happens and I get to be part of that process for the first time in, I don't know, 25 years. I mean, I mean, there are little processes that we go through on a daily basis that are probably unique to the situation and fall under some category, scientific category. Um, I can't really explain that any better, so I'm not gonna. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we got the Iron Giant. I really want to paint that guy this week, but the problem with that is I've never painted on plastic, and, and in my head, like, I would want to do a wash, like, for the gritty, grimy stuff, the stuff where he's dirty. Like, I want to create a wash, but it's not adhering to something that's uh, going to absorb the paint. It's going to repel it, or maybe not repel it, but it's going to float on top of the surface rather than get sucked into the surface. So I, I, I got I to do some studying up on that. If you guys have any tips, put them in the comments below. Also, if you guys didn't know in the comments below, somewhere down here, there is a link to our merchandise, which is selling like hotcakes, let me tell you. If by hotcakes, I mean one mug. Thank you, Rick. And we're going to call Rick the producer from now on. I think that sounds more uh, more professional. My producer. My producer. Is a producer? I guess that's a producer. He's helped produce the show, right? Yeah. Rick, you're the producer. Co-producer. You don't get to be full producer. <laughs> um, well, I hope you guys are having a super wonderful week so far. It's only Tuesday, but it is June. And that means we've only got eight days until Loki premieres. That's right. I am super excited about Loki to see what happens in those moments after he, uh, you know, flees with the Tesseract. And I don't know. He, he, Tom, Tom Hiddleston, is that his name? I can't remember his fucking name. It's probably, I'm probably way off. I haven't seen him in many other things, but I really, I really dig his Loki. Like, uh, that was a character for the Marvel Universe that, like, who are you going to go with? You know what I mean? Like, there are certain characters where, like, you know, Wolverine, it's easy. You're like, okay, well, you need a guy that looks like this and sounds like this and, and doesn't have to be the best actor in the world. Although Hugh Jackman, Hugh Jackman was fantastic. Um, but Loki is one of those characters where it's it's kind of more of a villain. He's not really a hero, and he's a trickster, and you can never really trust him. And they picked the perfect actor for him. All right. Well, I got to get my son up this morning because they, uh, well, both of them, because they actually both have meetings the next two days for school, which I think is completely ridiculous at this point. I'm sure it's just, you know, checking all the boxes they have to do at the school before they can close down and grade and, and send kids on to the next year. Uh, so I got to get a move on this morning and I've got at least one other video I'd like to share with you guys later. Probably the churro. I think the churro cream would be fun to do. So if you stick around later this afternoon, possibly earlier tomorrow morning, I will be releasing the churro review for the Bentons from Aldi. Now I will do karate on all of you for I am a karate robot. If you guys are loving watching these as much as I am love making them, Please consider liking, commenting, subscribing, and hit the share button. Take care of each other out there, and don't forget to make somebody smile today. I'm Jason Oliveira. This is the Vodcast Podcast. I'll catch you guys a little bit further down the road in the next episode. Take care, and boy howdy. <laughs>